Hello and welcome to my Dragonov character guide. In this video, I will be showing you everything you need to know in order to succeed with this character. I am currently Flame Mover, so I hope this advice will ease you and do you well. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So going over his key moves, as I go through them, I will be going in order in terms of uh, the level that they hit, so highs, mids, lows, and then I'll go over his throws, and so on and so forth. So, just wanted to let you know the format going forward. So, starting off with his 2-1 string, this is his 10 frame uh, jab. You will be using this to punish the majority of stuff if you're not really comfortable or you know uh, the, the exact frame data for punishing stuff. So, um, again, this is his fastest move, his 10 frame jab. Um, this also goes into sneak, but we'll get into that later. Um, next up is 4-1. This will be his 12 frame high uh, punisher. It's minus four on block, which it's kind of pretty much still his turn. And he can go for other stuff, like a down two. Um, that's a low, but we'll get into that move later. Uh, and you can also sidestep if you think they're going to go for a linear attack. So let me record. So since you're only minus four on block, you can... Okay, so that was a, a mistake. So... Um, if the second hit atta uh, hits, of course, or they block it, you can sidestep and then kind of go for a punish of some sort. Okay, so you kind of have to sidewalk, but... Um, yeah, you get the uh, get the point. And on hit, you can uh, it's he's plus eight, so you can pretty much go for anything. Plus eight, you can go for a jab if you want to try to keep your pressure. You can go for a down two, and if they press a button, you'll get a counter hit. Um, you can go for your fourteen frame. You pretty much have free range of what you can do, except just try not to do anything slow. Otherwise, they'll just uh, mash and take their turn back. And then the next extension from four is four three. Um, this is plus 13 on hit, and you notice it puts them in crouching position. So if this actually lands, Dragonov gets a free ground throw, and that is down one plus three. And this automatically puts him, uh, or activates his heat, so it's really good, uh, very hit confirmable, um, as it's visually, you know, you can just see them crouch and then go for your ground throw. This is minus 12 on block, um, some characters can get pretty decent punishes with minus 12, some characters can only get okay punishes, so, uh, be careful about that. And the uh, last follow-up with 4 is 4-4. Four, four. This is actually good to mix in with 4-3. If your opponent starts interrupting your 4-4, four, four, because it does have a very big gap, but it is plus 5 on block. So as you can see, I ha you can interrupt you, but if they start doing that, you can just go for 4-3. And then you get your ground throw. Again, very hit confirmable. But um, if they block both hits, this puts Dragonov in a crouching position. And he can go for <clears throat> not his new string, which I'll get into in a little bit. But uh, frame trap him with shoulder. That is unsafe. Um, you can go for a wall standing one. You can go for a down three or uh, a quick while standing four just to keep your turn. Um, you can get away if they're pretty defensive and they don't mash. You can get away with his while crouching down forward one four, which again we'll get into later. But um, 
And then uh, next up is back three. This is 14 frames. Minus nine on block, which is safe. Uh, you can't sidestep or anything. It's the end of your turn. But on hit, this will uh, spin the opponent out. You can't really, like, get anything out of it. Maybe if you can get a dash up into a down two mix or, like, a mid or something. Um, you are plus 11. It's just it pushes them back pretty far. And the way you can use this is, like, if they like to try and run at you, you can just quickly use it. Or if they like to sidestep, um, say I do, like, a down forward one and they like to sidestep okay so you can see he like he sidesteps here okay so he sidesteps if i know he likes to do that i can just uh hit him with this since it's a tracking move and you can tell uh that by the trails you see that you that comes from dragonov's foot so that's how you utilize back three. And then the last high that I'm going to talk about is back three plus four. Now, this is a fairly slow move. However, uh, the cool property about it is it has a parry. Um, it's minus two on block. I believe it's 18 to 20 frames startup. So it's pretty slow. But the cool thing is, is it goes into itself. So if you know your opponent likes to mash, boom, you get a parry. And then you can go for a follow-up like this. Uh, down three, two, one plus two. This is actually a pretty good tactic to use, climbing the ranks. Um, a lot of players will fall for it, but if they don't, keep uh if they don't press you're minus two so you can go for like a low or something or even a sidestep uh you're pretty much free on what you can do just try to keep it tight and safe um so now moving on to mids is dragonov's down forward one this is his generic uh poke Gener uh, generic down forward one poke it's 13 frames startup, minus two on block, very safe. Uh, so you want to use this when you pressure your opponent. Again, it's another move you can pretty much be free range on what you want to do. Um, if you hit it kind of at like max range, you can even backdash and get a, a punish of some sort. Or just go uh, make it go into itself and that's another thing is against defensive opponents that don't really mash you can uh, kind of make it go into itself or sidestep down forward one sidestep down forward two just kind of mix it up like that that's how you uh, use down forward one and a gist essentially um, it's really a uh, really good pressure tool, so use it as much as you can when you're pressuring your opponent. Down forward one also has an extension of four. So let's set the dummy to mash jab. So you can actually get a, uh, a counter hit if you time it right, but a, a lot of higher rank players will duck this once they see the down forward one. So the higher ranks, you just kind of want to use down forward one and then continue your pressure in different ways. But again, if you know the player likes to just press buttons, you can kind of delay it a little bit and you'll get a crumple into a full combo. So that can be a good way to uh, use the four extension for down forward one. But I highly recommend just kind of using down forward one. Uh, most of the time. Next up is his back 4-2 string. Now this goes into two extensions after back 4-2. Um, this part is safe. It's minus 7 on block. Um, but so pretty much like that's the end of your turn. You can't really sidestep or try to get away with a low. Let's uh... So... Yeah, you can't 
really get much. It's the end of your turn, so you kind of just have to respect uh, whatever your opponent does. Now, the follow-ups for this are one. So back forward to one, but the thing is, um, the last hit is a high. Uh, let's see if I can get them. No. So that is plus one on block. Um, but it is a high, and as you climb the ranks, better players will start to duck that. So at that point, you just kind of want to cut it short. And then um, if they don't mash right away, you can kind of go for like a down two. I do have him set to mash right now, but like, let's just say you're playing against a defensive player and you have them conditioned to kind of like duck that. You just cut it short and then go for a down two or something, or maybe even a throw. Um, but if they do like to mash what you can do is go for a one two one which is a pretty decent string i don't recommend it over two one which i talked about earlier you really only want to use one two one in this situation so back four two is plus one i need him to block the last hit and uh, the last hit of this is hit confirmable, so you can kind of like visualize the first two hits and then go go into the final hit. And then that is a heat engager, so just a cool little sequence right there to learn. And the last extension is actually his ambush tackle. Uh, so if they like to mash highs, you'll duck under it and uh, go for the ambush tackle. But they can break this as you, again, this is a move as you climb the ranks that uh, people will start breaking. So I kind of recommend you cut it out of your tool set. Not completely, like you can still throw it in there to catch them off guard every now and then, but... Definitely try not to use it as much as uh, you're, you're just better pokes like down forward one um, and the other strings or moves I'm about to mention. So, And I, I forgot to mention after the ambush tackle, you do have two follow-ups. You have one. You have two. And then you have a one plus two. So your opponent has to guess three different ways. Back four, again, this is uh, the next extension. Back four, three, instead of back four, two. This is mid high. It's minus nine on block, so it's safe. Uh, on hit, this is a heat engager. Um, I've, did I mention it's 14 frames? So this will be your 14 frame punisher. Uh, again, it puts, uh, it's, it's his heat engager. And this is very plus, so you can go for a pretty good mix-up. On regular hit, it just kind of knocks them back like that. Um, but And then we'll get into the heat mechanics later. I keep repeating myself. Anyway, next up uh, is back one plus two. On hit, this is uh, a splatting move or a spiking move. And you can get uh, some kind of follow-up after. Um, like a... A, a stomp which is down three plus four and then uh his new low which i'll get into later which is down back three plus four um on block this is very good because not only does it splat on hit it's plus six on block so you have quite the leeway again on what you can do for mix-ups uh, and pressure tools pretty much so try to use this as much as you can this is mainly used on knockdown so if you do like a little combo I will link my combo guide uh, right now if you haven't seen that or you need to watch a combo guide for Dragonov, it'll be up in the top right corner right now. So, um, do your little combo. So, 
So kind of something like that. Um, that took a little too long, but I will get into that setup, kind of what I did later. That'll be more advanced stuff for Dragonov. But again, yes, this is plus six on block, knocks them down. So yeah, you can do something up to like 15 frames or 16 frames. Uh, so just make sure it's kind of a safe option. Next up is down forward two. This is his 15 frame launcher. So anything like a rage art that they do, uh, you're gonna wanna punish with this. Minus 15, launch them with down forward two. Um, this does have pretty good range. So if you see them kind of like approaching you and they kind of like to just do something slow or you want to whiff punish them uh, you can use this it moves Dragonov forward pretty far not really far but pretty decently far it's a great whiff punishing tool as well not just a punisher um, just be careful it is uh, unsafe on block uh, at minus 12 so yeah that's really how you use down forward too so down forward four is a pretty generic poke, just like down forward one, except this move is good because it has really good pushback. As you can see how far it pushes Dragonov back, and you can even use this as a uh, spacing trap. And what I mean by that is if they go for something that's uh, they, like they try to take their turn back, with something that has decent range, uh, you'll be out of range to whiff punish them. So you can do something like that, whiff punish them back with back one, two. Um, or like I said, uh, whiff punishing them with down forward two. So you just kind of want to visualize it. Um, you can even backdash to create some space and then that'll help you with uh, visualizing it even more and help you react even better. So uh, it may not seem like a lot, but it's a great poke that can do a lot for you if you set it up right and use it right. Next up, this is down back 212 string. Uh, this, uh, all three hits is uh, very minus on block at minus 14 so uh the way you use this move is uh you can use just the down back two to poke um and then the one follow-up is delayable um but if you kind of just like do this and keep the pressure tight uh you are minus 10 on the second hit so the most they can get is like a jab punish uh, some characters like Jin can get 1-4 or 2-4, whatever it is, and he gets a knockdown into Oki. So just be careful who you kind of do this against. Um, but the point of this string is to bait a counter hit. So if we have him set to jab. So you see he's set to jab here. If I delay it slightly, I can catch him and get a counter hit and then uh, kind of confirm from there. If you delay it too long, they'll get away with mashing out of it. So you kind of have to make it a little tight and then go for the follow-up and then you get a full combo it may i was just messing it up but um the more you like do it you can actually hit confirm it and get the combo i was just messing it up um it is a pretty decent tool to use so uh just try not to do like all three hits like that kind of mix up the timing go for back twos uh, go for back ones, but delay it, uh, stuff like that. 
And then the last mid I'm going to mention is pretty much the move that makes Dragonov, and this is running two. So the way you input this is just forward, 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 kind of fast, and then you hit forward, the last forward, and two on the same frame. So um, you should get that. You are plus six on block, uh, just like back one plus two, and you... I, Again, you get a variety of mix-ups, like a throw, uh, a low, and if, again, if you're playing against a defensive player that knows that this is plus six on block, um, you can kind of even loop it into itself. Which may seem stupid, but uh, you'll actually be surprised how often that happens in high level. Just be careful, because they can sidestep it. Let me see if this is the sidestep. Yeah, so, uh, if they know you like to do it, they can just sidestep it like that, and then launch you for a full combo. So, uh, just be weary about that. But this is a very good tool, just like, uh, again, using it in a, like, after a combo. So kind of something like that, uh, and if they don't get up fast enough or if they try pressing a button, you'll land a counter hit, and, uh, oh yeah, let's talk about that. So on hit, it just splats them, and they can tech this, or wait, no, they can't, my bad. So if they get hit by this just regularly, uh, you can see it kind of bounds them to the ground, and then, uh, you get a free stomp follow-up. Uh, or a down back three, or down back three plus four, which we'll talk about uh, why this can be a little better than doing stomp later. So, um, yeah. And on counter hit is where this move really flourishes because it launches and Dragonov gets a very damaging combo. Again, I'll link uh, my combo guide uh, in the video or in the description as well too so now we'll be moving on to lows uh, so you know I mentioned down to a lot this is another move that pretty much makes Dragonov Dragonov this is a very fast uh, high crushing low meaning um, so if you kind of do something that's Barely minus on block. Uh, you can kind of get away with using this. So you see I have Dragon of retaliating with a, a jab, which is the fastest move in the game. Um, so this high crushes. Uh, and like this, you just want to pretty much abuse this as much as you can. Condition your opponent to block low and then like hit him with a back 4-3 or something, or a back 4-2. Uh, kind of just mix it up, but again, you want them as Dragonov to block low, start mixing it up with stuff, with like running 2, back 1 plus 2. Um, the next low is his new low, it's a hatchet kick. Uh, down back 3 plus 4. It's kind of slow, 20 frames, but this is very good to use to mix up with down two um as it is slower so it's actually good for timing uh principle wise so um if you're like using plus frames or something and they're respecting it but they're expecting you to like go for a low or down two specifically you can kind of just go for down back three and uh they may or may not block it, but if they don't, you are plus seven on a hit, which is very good. Um, they can't really sidestep or mash out of this as long as you keep your pressure tight. So maybe you can go for a down forward one, maybe go for another low if they're not expecting it. Um, a forward four set up a, or down forward four set up a spacing trap or a throw. Uh, you just have a lot of um, options at that point. 
So let's talk about his sneak now. Uh, the motion to do this is quarter circle forward, and he has four different follow-ups out of this. Uh, first one is uh, sneak one. This is minus three on block. Uh, very safe. So you can continue your pressure with like a low, or if you think they're going to do something linear, uh, you can sidestep to their weak side or whatever the weak side of that move you're going to predict is. Um, and another thing you can do actually, if your opponent likes to mash after uh, buttons, So if your opponent likes to mash out of like after uh, your turn a lot, you can go for back three plus four right here since you're only minus three and back three plus four is fast enough to catch 10 frame jabs. Um, so that's a cool little strategy to use as you're climbing up the ranks. Uh, even as you're getting higher in the ranks, it should catch uh, some people. So don't be afraid to use that. And then next is Crouch Dash 2, or Sneak 2. Uh, this is good at high crushing stuff. So if you're at like plus frames or you're doing uh, like sneak pressure and they like to mash, like right there, forward 3 into sneak. And if you know they like to mash, you can go for it, even though this is very risky, so be careful. Um, I think a better option would be to go for oh never mind. Okay, so that doesn't work. So, uh but if you do land with the sneak 2, you can get a very big combo off it. So that's really the risk reward of this move. Uh, I believe it's like minus 13 or 14, so just be careful using it. The next follow up is sneak 3. This is a low. Uh, this is actually pretty good to use in a lot of scenarios, like sneak pressure, uh, even just like if you're trying to approach your opponent and you want to close in the gap, uh, you can use sneak three and then try to keep your pressure uh, just using like low pokes or maybe even going into while crouching full uh, down forward one. That can be a good option or uh, maybe even throw them, but yeah. This is just a good option to get in on your opponent. On counter hit, this uh, actually does quite a bit of damage, but it does side switch, so uh, just be careful of that. And that's why you should be good at both sides. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how you use Crouch Dash 3. And then Crouch Dash 4 is a new move that he got, which is this axe kick and this is plus seven on block however they did nerf it uh two patches ago and now it has more pushback so you can't really get much off it um but just like you saw you can get like a while standing three uh if they try to mash this will catch them Just like that, so. Um, or you can go for a while standing too if they like the mash. But, oh yeah, so um, that's another thing. If they like to mash anything slower than 10 frames as well, this will counter hit them. And you can go for uh, crouching down forward one forward. So, um, and that can lead to a lot of damage after. So, yeah, it can be very rewarding to catch them with. So if they don't mash, you can maybe even dash up and go for a down two or some sort of mix up. It just depends on what your opponent does is how you should respond. But yeah, that's really uh, like his sneak uh, mechanic or move set, I guess. Um, another thing is he can go into sneak from a few strings. I should have mentioned that. He can go into it from two one and on hit this is really good so if you punish your opponent with this uh this actually they gave uh dragonov a new hit stun up or hit stop uh animation so it reels him back and then you can go for a uh sneak mix up sneak four is a really good option to go for 
So yeah, either way, if they try to sidestep, uh, Dragonov is just two plus on hit here uh, to where they can't sidestep. Um, another good option you can go for is sneak three to go for a low option. Um, or you can go for a throw. Uh, just a few options to mix them up with. Uh, back four two also goes into sneak. However, this uh, this string has the least amount of blocks done, so uh, you can't really get much out of this. As you can see, Dragonov can just sidestep out of the majority of stuff. Uh, four three into sneak is really good. Um, I don't believe he can step left or right here. So yeah, he's just two plus. Um, again, sidestep or sneak three is another good option to go for, and maybe even sneak one, because sneak one gives them or puts them in a crumple, and you can get a full combo. So uh, just a few safe options to go for. I definitely recommend staying away from sneak two as much as you can, uh, unless you're gonna with punish them with it or something, or you know they like to mash jabs, and you're you can low crush them with it. So. So next up, I'll talk about Dragonov's throw game. Next to King, I'd say Dragonov is probably the second best grappler in Tekken, to be honest. Uh, the reason for that is because he has a three-way guessing break between a 1, 2, and a 1 plus 2 break. Of course, players can react to it, but not everyone is going to break everything, of course. So... Uh, this is his 2 plus uh, 3 I should have started off with 1 plus 4 um, so as you can tell Dragonov reaches with his right arm meaning the opponent has to break with 2 um, he doesn't really get anything off this throw uh, maybe like a down 3 if they're holding back um, but yeah, otherwise, you kind of just want to reset to neutral or just uh, dash up and block. Because if they like to wake up with a kick or something, kind of just dash up and block. Because I don't think Dragonov really gets anything off this. Uh, dashing up and blocking is probably a, a good option. Um, and now 1 plus 4. He kind of swoops under them and then goes for an angle lock. Now, now let's test C. So he gets a back three. So that that's 14 frames. So he should be able to get a back four three. Yep. <clears throat> so if they like to wake up kick, uh, you can definitely try to hit them with something. Down forward two doesn't reach. So down forward three is pretty good. Or maybe even a down forward two, get that counter hit, and then put him at uh, like plus 13 or 14, I believe. Uh, I should have went over that with the down two, but I didn't. Um, and then last is his up forward one plus two. So this is probably his best throw because he can get the most off of this. So, if we have the opponent set to uh, holding back when they wake up, Dragonov can get a full down forward to launch. And then he can go for his combo. And then yada yada, I messed up, but yeah. Um, as you climb the ranks, again, more players will know about this, but then again, more players will start teching your throws. But what if you do land your one plus, or up forward one plus two throw, and they know about that, and they kind of just stay on the ground or even roll? What do you do? So what you can do is go for a quick low, like a down two. Um... I'm pretty sure that's guaranteed no matter which way they roll. 
Okay, so if they roll left, uh, they get out of it. But let's try hatchet kick. So this tracks better. Um, so if you know they like to roll left, uh, or maybe even a roll right, I'm pretty sure this will be both directions. So yeah, this just inherently has really good tracking to it. So, uh, down back three plus four, his new hatchet kick can be a great option, uh, if they don't hold back, um, after his up forward one plus two command throw. But... Since this is a Dragonov guide, I will uh, give you the solution on how to beat this, and that's to just hold up. So you literally just hold up if you know the Dragonov. So if you're going against a Dragonov in this mirror match, and they go for this, you can just hold up, and you will block it. And now they're at minus 12 or 13. Um, and then you can punish him with 1-2 or 4-1, but yeah, uh, that's really the gist of his throw game. You want to be mixing up his throws as much as you can, not just going for up forward 1 plus 2, but going for, you know, 1 plus 4, 2 plus 3, because they actually have to break with those respective buttons, so... Yeah, uh, I hope this helped with Dragonov's throw game. Definitely mix it up with his strike pressure. Okay, so one cool little advanced trick I would like to show you is a tech trap. So depending on what your opponent uh, does on wake up, this will catch them. So specifically, if they like to roll left or right, or if they hold back on wake up, this setup will catch them every time. So I'll walk you through that. First, you start off with down forward two into four four. And then you go for your while crouching down forward one four combo. This will automatically put them in sneak and then you go for two for the tornado. And then down forward three plus four, uh, you know, after a dash up. And then after the down forward three plus four, you're actually gonna do another dash and do back four three or back four two and to sneak. Sneak two. And right there, the crouch dash two will catch them again if they hold back or if they try to roll uh either way so the way to beat that is to just hold up but then once they start doing that what you do is you start going for crouch dash three or four my bad and then now you get plus frames but you're kind of spaced out, so you really don't get a whole lot there. But just a little uh, advanced tip to know. Uh, I figured I'd let you know because uh, this this does catch a lot of people surprisingly, and uh, this is just a good little strategy to use, to be honest. If you've made it to the end of the video, I can't thank you enough. I'm closing in on 3,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed already. It would mean a lot to me if you did. And leave a like as it helps with the channel and it'll make me want to do more content. So I can't do this full time without you guys. So again, feel free to subscribe for more Tekken and fighting game guys. This is Dark Sin signing out.